Hey guys, this is Heather. All right, we're gonna do a little experiment today. Weighing food, because I have this beautiful red kitchen scale that measures things in grams. So a lot of times when I am talking about things like parsley, one of my favorite ingredients to add to a healthy recipe, I say add a quarter cup. But I don't know how much that actually weighs. And the reason that's important is because nutritional information is often calculated based on the weight of your food. So if you're someone who likes to track calories, who likes to track portions, who likes to track nutrients, then this is an important thing to know because the nutritional charts may not be exactly lining up with what you're eating. So I don't like to measure things too much. That's why I set up my meal plan so that you don't have to think about this side of things. But I thought it would be good to show you how things weigh up and also talk about the nutritional component of food. So often when people are weighing their food with the kitchen scale, they're thinking about it in terms of calories. But what I like to think about is the nutrients that are in those foods. Because foods are a positive. And if you think of it in calories, a lot of people think of that in terms of minimizing calories. But if we think about maximizing nutrients from something like parsley, that is a much better way to think about healthy eating and it'll motivate you to eat those healthy foods that are going to nourish and give you energy. Alright, so if we start with parsley, and I'm just going to rip the stems off because they weigh something and I just want to measure the actual parsley. So if I'm shoving this in here for half a cup, that's how I would measure it. And let's see how much this weighs. It's supposed to weigh 30 grams. And this is super simple. I just turn it on and set it to zero and then put what I want to weigh on here. Ooh, 33! That's so close. So this has 410% of your daily vitamin K intake. So that right there is really good for your bones. Okay, next up are tomatoes. And I'm trying to measure a cup of tomatoes, but I don't have quite a cup. Probably four of these little tomatoes would be a cup. So let's see what this weighs. So that is 116 and one cup should be 180 grams. So that sounds about right. That's probably like three quarters of a cup. So if there was another tomato on here, that would have 46% of your daily vitamin A intake. So that's immunity, eyesight, and healthy skin. I could go on about the nutrients in here, but it would take me all day. So we're just going to do one nutrient per food. Now quinoa, most people talk about in terms of protein, and it is a great source of protein, but it's also a great source of some other really important immune nutrients, namely zinc, selenium, and vitamin E. So if we take one cup, and this is really cool, so if I put the cup on here, and then hit on, it'll weigh the cup, so I don't have to subtract how much that weighs. And that weighs 177 grams. Oh, that's almost right on. 170 is what it should weigh, and it has 48% of your daily zinc, 27% vitamin E, and 26% of the selenium you need to be super immune. Oh my god, I need a funnel to get it back in. Frozen peas might look pretty boring. Let's see what they weigh. 127 grams in a cup. That's a little less than what I had, was 160. But nonetheless, this has 14% of women's daily iron intake, 31% of men's daily iron intake. Have you ever had them frozen? My mom used to give me this as a snack when I was a kid. So tasty. Okay, we're gonna do some ground flax next, which I'm gonna measure in a tablespoon, so I'm gonna put that on there. And see how much this weighs. Seven grams! Oh my god, that's right on. One tablespoon ground flax seed, seven grams. That gives you nearly 1,600 milligrams of omega-3. So I always find it a little bit odd putting a banana in a measuring cup. But, there we go. I don't think that's quite a cup. So let's see how we're doing on weight. 131 grams, and a cup should be 150. So yeah, if there was another 20 grams of banana in here, that would give you, in terms of B vitamins, because everyone talks about banana in terms of potassium, but let's talk about B vitamins. It has 8% of your daily thiamine, 15% riboflavin, 9% niacin, 
11% folate, 53% of your B6, 7% choline, and 16% pantothenic acid, which is B5. So super duper source of B vitamins, which are energy. All right, next is some raw sunflower seeds, which I feel like don't get the attention they deserve because they are so super healthy. So one tablespoon, 11 grams, should have been 14, but that has 20% of your daily selenium intake, which is fairly difficult to get for most foods. So I have sunflower seeds almost every day. Okay, last but certainly not least, I've been waiting for this one the whole time, is some cocoa powder. So if we take one tablespoon of cocoa powder, that weighs six grams. Oh, that's pretty close. Five grams is what it's supposed to be. So that has 4% of men's daily, sorry, women's daily iron intake and 9% of men's daily iron intake, which is that little thing. And just think of the fun things you can make with that. You can make hot chocolate. You could mix it with the banana and make a chocolate smoothie or a chocolate pudding. You could mix it with some flax seeds to make an, a thicker, omega-rich chocolate pudding. Good, good stuff. All right, that is it for my experiment today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get one of these awesome scales for yourself, they have kindly offered a discount to all of you, 50% off their regular price. So that makes a scale $20. And all you need to do is put in the coupon code at the link that I will post down below. The code is H for Heather, N for Nichols, scale for the scale. And you can get different colors, but I like red. So um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my experiment and that you go forth and enjoy some healthy, nourishing foods. Focus on what they give you, the energy, the nutrients, and the healthy body that they create. All right, so go have an awesome day and I'll see you again soon.